process of the registration. So far, since, since 2018, we have registered 11 higher education institutions, and these are Alliance International University. If there are people still studying with this university, know that it's been registered and your qualification won't be recognized. Citizen University was registered. I know that they are in the process of applying for re-registration, so that will be looked at uh, accordingly. Uh, Demlin University de registered, Eastern University, Greenlight University, John David University, Pamodzi University, Silver University, Southern Acacia University, Southern University, and the 11th one is University of East and Southern Africa. So if anyone is studying in these universities now, uh, we, are hope, we hope they're not operating because we registered them and we sometimes do surveillances to check if they're operating and we have seen that they are not operating physically but if they are operating in space uh, and their students in these institutions just know that your qualifications won't be recognized either here in Zambia or elsewhere. Now these institutions were uh, deregistered as I said because uh, among the criteria that we have for registration, uh, they were you know, operating below par as a university, um, and uh, hence the registration. In terms of um, you know, going forward, because the, the, the act has been amended, that's why we are here in Pika, we are sensitizing the institutions in northern province, Muchinga, uh, Luapula, and Central Provinces uh, on the amendment of the Act and also the regulations that will follow uh, to uh, implement the amendments which have been developed in conjunction with the Minister of Justice um, before the Minister of Education signs the statutory instrument that will contain the, the regulation. One of the amendments is that you no longer um, register a university on first uh, application. You register a university college. And the idea is that, and you operate for five years before you can you know, apply for registration as a full-fledged university. And as a university college, you can offer degrees up to degree level. You can offer masters and other um, you know, programs above bachelor's degree. And you will look at uh, you must have minimum, uh, you know, standards. You must have lecturers who can teach and minimum qualification masters. You may have one or two PhDs, but at this master's level minimum qualification in those programs that you are offering and then you operate for five years we want you at least to graduate a cohort um, you know after maybe if it's a four-year program you may have even diplomas then you apply when you apply to be a full-fledged university then you come and look at your systems we are assuming that in those five years you have developed systems that are required for you to be a university. Under three pillars, teaching, uh, research, and public service. So these are the three pillars on which universities operate world over. So I want to see how you have developed in those three pillars. Are you doing research? Uh, have you made are there any publications? Five years is a long time. You know, so we see that, okay, maybe you have you're on the path towards it, developing, you know, or being involved in research. Teaching systems, how have you strengthened them? You know, the programs, uh, the staffing that you have, 
you know, uh, and, and also the academic systems in the University Senate and the other system that, the attendant systems that are required to manage, you know, academic uh, institution. Uh, public service, how is your institution engaged with the public? You know, consultancies, um, community, how is it involved? So, that's, those are three pillars that the universities operate on. So we look at those and see whether you have started doing something in those areas. Those will be part of registration if you want to be a full-fledged university. So this was done in order to, you know, um, to have our university comparable to other universities elsewhere. Because uh, previously one would just wake up and say I want to establish an university because you know, one has money and an entrepreneur. But you see, university business is, is unique. It has its own requirements. And so we are providing this window of five years as an university college to allow the institution to put in place these requirements that are needed for one to be a university. Um, so that is one of the improvements uh, in terms of the amendments. There are very, various other amendments that are, have been, you know, um, enacted in this uh, act, which was enacted last year, which are all meant to improve our quality assurance systems.